In the last few years, real estate investors have become very interested in the Greeley market. Initially because it had a very low entry level, very low price point, was well situated geographically, close to Loveland, close to Fort Collins, and, and prices were going up, rental rates are going up. So we do believe it's worth considering as a real estate investor. A couple things to be aware of. The biggest pro we see for investing in the Greeley market is future price appreciation. Prices have gone up, but they're still significantly lower. As a matter of fact, the Greeley market, on average, the average priced home in Greeley is about 30% lower than most cities in Colorado. You're getting getting 30% more bang for your buck in the Greeley market. That makes it a very attractive market if you're a real estate investor. And it's got a lot of potential future appreciation play. Secondly, it's gonna benefit from Northern Colorado growth. As cities like Fort Collins and Loveland grow, Greeley is a natural offshoot for people that can't afford Fort Collins, the people that can't afford that no-co area. They're moving to Greeley because they do get more for their money. I, I, I have a lot of friends uh, that are in the Greeley area that work in Fort Collins, that work in Loveland, school teachers, things like that, but they can't afford this area, so they've gone to Greeley. They get more for their money, but, they're, but Greeley is going to benefit from the overall growth that we're going to see in this northern Colorado area. Benefit number three, as I said, a low entry level price. You get more for your money in the Greeley area, whether it's single family or whether it's condos, townhomes. And benefit number four is the cap rate, that's your investment rate of return, is higher than in many other cities. Why? Because it is taking on a little more risk in the Greeley area. And these risks relate to the downsides. The downsides, number one, lower than average household income. And that's not a right or wrong, it's just an is. But on average, the average household income in Greeley is lower as compared to Fort Collins as compared to Loveland. So it typically attracts individuals that are on the lower income threshold. And the, some of those people are great people, they're great renters, but from a, uh, if you're looking for a negative, that's something to be aware of. Secondly, it's got less stability, which means increased risk as compared to other areas. Greeley historically has been more up and down. When the market goes great and crazy good, Greeley benefits. When the market and the economy turns south, Greeley is hard hit typically speaking and historically speaking. So we just have to be aware of that, that if a big downturn comes, Greeley is not gonna be really well insulated from that downturn impacting it potentially in a greater way than that downturn would impact places like Fort Collins. Negative number three, it does have a higher crime rate. Uh, and that I think that's, that's worth taking into consideration. That's a downside of Greeley because it's not going to attract as many renters because of this. Statistically speaking, it's a higher crime rate, which means some renters will stay out of that area because they don't want to expose themselves, their families to a higher crime rate, as well as a lower rated school system. It just doesn't have as good of, of a school system from a rating standpoint as compared to Fort Collins, for example. So if individuals can afford it, they typically would move to the Fort Collins area, not the Greeley area. It presents an opportunity but it's a very niche opportunity there. So if you're gonna invest in the Greeley area, and I do think it's worth considering, we've got a lot of investors that do invest in the Greeley area and they do very well, but you've gotta be cautious within what submarket of Greeley you invest in. So we give Greeley overall a C plus. I think there are areas of Greeley that are definitely worth investing in, but be cautious. You don't wanna get into a bad submarket of Greeley as an investor. You want to be in specific submarkets, give us a call. We'd be happy to tell you which submarkets of Greeley you want to be into, and those markets we like. We think those are good long term plays, but be careful, cautious, do your homework when you're investing in the Greeley market.